is going on you guys welcome back to another video on the game area f2 so it is a very very sad day today um area f2 is officially shutting down as of 12 p.m 20th of may 2020 today so in about 20 minutes time from now uh, from when i'm recording this video the game will be fully shut down and deleted forever area f2 had a lot of hope for for people it was the first sort of rainbow six siege sort of uh game to come to mobile although it's totally different to rainbow six siege it's very annoying for a lot of people that um that have invested money into it i myself have put around a hundred dollars into the game buying skins and in-game cosmetics and literally just out of the blue the developers decided just to shut it down so in this video i'm just going to give you some more information about why it's been shut down and what's been going on with it so i found a website that uh has given us all the details on exactly why area f2 is getting shut down uh, and it's basically because ubisoft uh, basically won the lawsuit uh, ubisoft is the company that created rainbow six siege mobile and that game basically area f2 was basically just a straight sort of copy of that game in ubisoft's eyes so they decided to sue ios and android uh, and google play um, the app stores uh, for actually putting the Area F2 game out there. So I'm just going to read here an official um, announcement. Uh, basically, it says that a few days ago it came to our attention that Ubisoft was suing Apple and Google over Rainbow Six Siege clone on mobile devices. According to Ubisoft, every aspect of Area F2 is copied from our in-game, uh, from the operator selection to the final scoring screen, uh, which is pretty true. Uh, and with the recent official announcements, it seems Ubisoft won the lawsuit and successfully able to stop the operations of KUKA Games, which is the company that created Area F2. Uh, as the developers have announced that Area F2 game services will be shutting down from May the 20th. The developers of Area F2, KUKA, is a subsidiary uh, of eJoy.com, which is owned by a Chinese giant Alibaba Group Holdings Limited. Uh, if the official announcement from the actual developers, uh, I'm going to read out to you guys now. I'm going to show it on screen. Uh, it says here, Dear agents, thank you for your support of Area F2. We are carrying out improvements to Area F2 in order to deliver a better experience to players. Thus, we will terminate the service of the current version at 12 p.m. on the 20th of May um, 2020. We are thrilled at the number of downloads that Area F2 has received since its launch, making it into the top three of the App Store free-to-play game rankings in some regions. Many players have joined our community and provided valued feedback. In addition, many streamers, reviewers, and players have created streams and videos of the game with more than 300 game videos uploaded to date. We are pleased about this, but we are also aware of the responsibility to provide the best user experience to our players. So I was caught in this as well, guys. I actually have uploaded a lot of Area F2 videos. Uh, the mission of Area F2 is to allow players to experience the fun of close quarter combat uh, aka CQB on mobile devices while we have had a lot of positive feedback we also found that a lot of players gave up quickly before they were able to experience the core CQB gameplay the steep learning curve resulted in many players abandoning the game in less than 30 minutes and the reason given included uh, not knowing what to do not knowing where the targets or their teammates are and dying without seeing the enemy or knowing what killed them this is pretty true uh, when i first played the game i didn't come from a background of playing rainbow six siege so i it took some getting used to uh, but i really grinded it out and um, it did pay off because you do get used to it but for new people joining the game and playing it first it is very very confusing uh, with uavs and uh, peaking and everything in the game um, as game developers, we are not willing to accept an experience that we cannot deliver smoothly to as many players as we can. It is our responsibility to solve this issue and extensive discussion has shown that this is an issue that requires a large scale, in-depth adjustments, perhaps even a complete overhaul of the design to achieve the mission of bringing CQB to as many players as we can on mobile devices. We have therefore made a difficult decision of terminating the operation of Area F2 in its current form to focus on making further improvements. 
We received more than, than 10,000 feedback comments from players during the test phase and they will be invaluable to it for us as we work on designing an outstanding experience in subsequent development. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you again once these improvements are complete. So, basically guys, um, they're kind of saying that they're going to be deleting the game, but they're going to be sort of changing it and make improvements to it. So, I can see one of two outcomes, guys. Number one is the game is gone forever and deleted and we're not going to be able to play it again. Number two, they're going to totally change the game change the uh, the rainbow six siege aspects that they've got in the game such as certain weapons certain sort of equipment um, and they're going to bring out a brand new area f2 game which doesn't look as much as rainbow six siege mobile but it's still going to have that core aspect of it 5v5 um it's still going to be very similar to it so I'm swaying towards them deleting the game and it being gone for good. So next, as a side note, myself, I, like I said earlier, I've spent a, 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 around $100 on the actual game, which I kind of want back because I can't actually use them. So uh, on this webpage too, it says, what about the in-app purchases? And it says here, as the game uh, was already very popular with a short period of time, many players made a lot of in-app purchases. Players can apply for refunds after the termination of game services on May 20th. Luckily, the iOS players will be able to get refunds easily, while the Android users may face a little problem because of the Google Play policies. Um, so basically all the iOS uh, players who made transactions can apply for a refund um, on their platform on the iOS store. Uh, all of the applicants will be accepted as per the iOS store return policy. However, for Android, the players will only get the refund if the transaction was made less than 48 hours ago. So for Android users, you'll feel free to email in. Um, it's basically... Uh, you can email the uh, the uh, app store, the Android uh, app store, but there's there's not a good chance you're going to get your refund back. And I'm actually on Android, so I don't think I'm going to get my refund back either, which is super annoying. I, I feel like they've kind of robbed money from us because we they, they made out that this game's here to stay for good. It's going to be a brand new game. It sort of blew up on the scene and everyone's playing it. It got millions of downloads, but... Yeah, we've uh, we've spent a lot in the game, and now now they're kind of shutting down, which leaves us kind of high and dry, which uh, which isn't good. Um, I want you guys to let me know in the comments and spam the comments what you think about them shutting this down. Um, let me know your real thoughts on it, um, and yeah, I'm I'm just really annoyed. So not only that, guys, I'm really annoyed by this too. This is a recruitment website for Area F2. Now, the breakdown of this is for all content creators, basically, they give their viewers a code for them to put into their game. Uh, and it's like you get your own sort of recruiter code and you get put on a leaderboard here to win some actual money. Now, I was a bit skeptical going to, into this first because $100,000 for a brand new company that no one's ever heard of before for a brand new game. Um, doing a $100,000 giveaway uh, in the first month of the game releasing on the App Store. That is pretty much unheard of uh, for most mobile games. PUBG Mobile hasn't done it. Fortnite Mobile didn't do it. Their tournaments came out later on after the game has been more established. So for them to do this, in my eyes, was sort of a scam. Um, it feels... Uh, bad because they've now deleted this web page. Uh, this is from one of my old videos that I found uh, just to show you what the web page looked like. Uh, but they've now deleted that web page and they've scrapped the tournament. So um, obviously, yeah, it was good to get recruitments and to get the game blown out there, and it was good for marketing. But it leaves a very sour taste in all of the content creators' mouths now because now the game's shut down and they're not going to be able to win any money. Um, I know one of my friends, Imo, from YouTube, if you guys have uh, known him, he's one of the top Area F2 creators. He was actually winning this tournament and he would have won $2,000, but unfortunately now this is shut down, he's not going to get a penny of it. So it's pretty bad. So that's basically it, guys. That's the whole breakdown of why Area F2 is shutting down. Uh, I'm not going to make any more videos on it on this channel. Good news for you, Creative Destruction, guys, is I'm going to be making a lot more content on Creative Destruction. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit a like on this video. Uh, the more likes we get, the more everyone can see Area F2 being shut down. 
and you can all see this video and get some help and feedback on it as well if you've got any questions for me just make sure you drop a comment down below um, and that's basically it guys so that is this is the last video being uploaded of area f2 i hope you've enjoyed the content for a couple of months it's been pretty fun trying out a new game uh but now it's back to the creative destruction grind so thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in the next video yeah boy